court blocked the government from deploying the Kenyan police to fight gangs in Haiti. Now, Justice Chacha Mwita ruled that the deployment would be illegal as the National Security Council lacks the legal authority to send police outside Kenya. He added that the council can only deploy military, not police, for peacekeeping missions. This comes as a second major ruling against the government in the space of a day after the High Court also rejected an attempt by the government to overturn a block on the housing levy. That of sir will be deemed... The manner currently um, intended for deployment of police officers is unconstitutional, null and void. The court has emphasized that if any deployment is to happen, then it has to respect section 107, 108 and 109 of the National Police Service Act. The original uh, intention went through the National Security Council. The court has said that the National Security Council cannot deploy police officers. The National Security, it has to respect section 107, 108 and 109, which requires that we have a uh, an agreement, a reciprocal agreement with Haiti. We have to have that gazetted and then the request has to go to parliament for approval. So without that, the deployment cannot continue. I come from a place called Capedo. Maybe many of you have heard about Capedo. It's a battleground. You know, people being killed every other day. There is no enough police, uh, police, police service there. So really, what wisdom could possibly have driven President William Ruto to make that roadside declaration that uh, Kenya police, who are, not, who are very inadequate in our own country, could be deployed to another country, to a gangster, to, to a gangland, basically. So I think I'm very happy that uh, the, the judge has, has, uh, has outlawed uh, that declaration.